hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'll be showing you a deep conditioning treatment which i like to do on my hair and my daughter's hair so when our hair is experiencing dryness our hair is looking damaged or split we've got split ends we like to do this so if you're interested in seeing how i do it then keep watching Here are the ingredients we'll be needing. I'll be using full fat coconut milk, um, some raw honey, um, some apple cider vinegar, and also some ripe mango. I will also be using an egg. I will also be using my hair growth oil, um, some banana, and also some aloe vera so i've just prepped my ingredients i've washed and prepped them diced them into little pieces for easy blending so here's my banana i'll be adding everything i have shown you into my blender and i have a little helper here my daughter um helping me to make the recipe so guys when it comes to um deep conditioning Deep conditioning is really, really important for the hair, especially if your hair is experiencing dryness, like I've said, um, it helps to hydrate your hair. Just like your skin, your hair also needs hydration. So it is important that no, you're not only adding moisture, but you're making sure that your hair stays hydrated. So it also improves the, your hair shine. Uh, it strengthens the hair as well. So if your hair is damaged, you notice that your hair is looking very dull like um, you're experiencing breakage as well then this treatment is really good it's good for you to do it even if it's just um, once a month um, if my hair is damaged I will do this every two weeks but if my hair is okay I still do it but every um, once a month so I reduce the number of times I do it and when it comes to measurement you would do as much as um, you think your hair requires it. So if your hair is really long and full, then obviously you will make so much. If your hair is not so long, then you would make little. Honestly, just use your discretion and make as much as you need. So when it comes to this hair growth oil, you don't have to use the hair growth oil if you don't want to make it. Um, you can just use um, extra virgin olive oil, but I'll put the um, link to the video if, if you're interested in making the hair growth oil. I think I have about three on my channel, which you can check out. So after I've added all my ingredients, I'll just go ahead and blend it make sure it's completely smooth and this is what it looks like now it is time for us to sieve it i always say sieve your um, treatment don't put it directly on your hair because of particles um, go ahead and sieve it just make sure that everything is out um, so guys and also when it comes to this deep conditioning treatment i have other um, recipes on my channel it is all up to you to decide what you want to add for example, you could substitute this mango for um, avocado, you could substitute the banana as well, you could add a yogurt, but always add eggs because egg is very rich in protein and our hair loves protein, not so much of it, but just the right amount. So I like to put egg in my um, deep, uh, deep conditioning treatment and also some oils. Olive oil is one of the best oils you can use. Um, almond oil as well is really good. So once I've completely sieved the, the, reci the recipe, my deep conditioner, I will transfer it into um, an applicator bottle. So this is the residue. You can see the particles in it and you really don't want that in your head so it is important you save it so i will transfer it into an applicator bottle like i was saying because the recipe is runny if you have less of the coconut milk and the aloe vera of course it won't be as runny as mine so you might not need an applicator bottle and look at my daughter's hair so my daughter's hair is screaming for help we haven't done anything to this hair in two weeks all we've been doing is styling it using a lot of gel which is why it has particles it looks really dry so of course at this point it needs some love and care which is what we're going to do i'm just going to section the hair into three for easy um, 
for it's just easier for me to manipulate the hair when it's in section i always say this in my videos don't just slap everything into your hair like that just work in sections your hair is very delicate so if you're gentle with it it minimizes the shedding it minimizes the breakage but if you're just treating your hair anyhow your hair is going to keep breaking so doing it in sections makes it easy and then i'll start to apply the treatment just the way i would any treatment that i do show on this my channel but i'm doing this in steps and there's a reason for it first is to saturate the hair with the treatment and the reason for that is to leave the, the conditioner in the hair so that it just keeps making the hair soft and it's just easier if you just put the conditioner and you start to comb it trying to detangle at this point your hair is not soft enough for you to start combing so it will really it will break the hair so what i do is i go section by section applying the treatment and then i'll just use my fingers the tip of it to detangle to separate it um one by one honestly you have to spend time on your hair um treating it as delicate as it is because if you're just doing the hair like treating it anyhow pulling it here and there combing it when you're not supposed to be combing it or combing it when it's dry that's when your hair will really break i will show you how much hair she lost during this treatment and this is because of how gentle i am so you can see now i'm just separating the tips and then i would i wouldn't comb it at this point i'll just saturate the other part of the hair make sure that the treatment is everywhere and once i've done that then i'll come back and now start to do the combing process which i'll show you in a minute so at this point this hair is already soft so you can see how it's easy for the comb to pass through so i'm combing from the tip down to the bottom of the hair but um at the same time i am just holding the tip with my hands just so that i'm not pulling her hair all i'm trying to say is be gentle with the hair and have a process of doing this don't just um comb your hair anyhow because that's how you experience breakage so if i do them in section like that being gentle combing from tip to bottom that way your hair is not breaking so here i've obviously speed up the video so either is i'm not pulling the hair it just seem like i'm being fast but i'm not i'm really being gentle but so once i have finished combing the whole hair um, the next stage is for me to steam it so at this point I haven't detangled her hair I will detangle the hair in the bathroom when I am washing it then I will use a detangling brush and at that time it will be so easy for me to, to detangle it because it has gone through this process and I'm just showing you the little hair we've lost being that we haven't washed her hair in two weeks we've only been styling it then this is actually really little which is really good you don't want to be losing a lot of hair so this is the steamer i'm using it's really good and it's really not expensive i think i bought it for 25 pounds off amazon um so it's really good for the hair um it's the steaming process is so easy so i would do this for 15 minutes on her hair me as an adult i would do this for half an hour because i've got the patience to sit but she as a child as much as she loves to make her hair i just don't like to stretch it so she doesn't start losing interest in making her hair you know the shorter the process the more enjoyable it is for for the kids so just 15 minutes i'll do this and after that i'll put on her shower cap i'll leave the shower cap to further um hydrate the hair so steaming is very beneficial for the hair the heat aids hydration and once your hair is dry like i said which is the reason why we're doing this treatment in the first place um, it, it keeps the hair hydrated and it also helps with um, um, blood circulation in your scalp that way is stimulating growth so there's a lot of um, benefit to steaming the hair and if you're experiencing split ends as well steaming also helps with that so you want to be steaming your hair um, as much as well anytime you do a treatment so basically every once a month you treat your hair that's really not bad 
so um once i have finished doing this like i said i'll put on her shower cap and leave it for um, another 15 minutes and then i'll go ahead and wash it by the time you do this to your hair if you have the time every two weeks if you don't once a month you will see difference in a short period of time i'm going to compare um her hair when i started this treatment looking all dry and after the treatment you can see the hydration so you can see how shrinked her hair is it means the hair is well hydrated there's a lot of moisture in there um, after 15 minutes we will um, go ahead and wash it and I'll show you guys once I have rinsed out um, all the treatment so if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed then please click on that subscription button and also check out my other videos i have a lot of other treatments you will find useful and also remember that notification bell so that when i do post a video youtube will notify you so this is her hair you can already see the shine you can see how hydrated it is compare it to how we started look at how dry it was initially so thank you so much guys for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye